what is going on everybody welcome to the first after effects tutorial it has been long overdue today we're going to be doing the face tracking tutorial on the good old ricky grimes All right so essentially you just want to make sure you've got a clip there i do advise having it in a 16 by 9 ratio just so you don't have to uh, worry about any black bars on the left or the right then you're going to want to head over to the tracker tool uh, that's just on the right on the hot bar uh, and then after that just double click the clip in question and head over to stabilize motion there a little kind of grid will populate and from there you just want to kind of go for the focal point um, of, of, the, uh, of the face or whatever you're tracking uh, in that case um, and again I must stress you will be rewarded for making this little box smaller it does kind of reduce the render time and just make it a little bit faster if you're like me and you've got a slightly older PC then you will kind of uh, you will definitely benefit from this but essentially you just want to hit the play icon um, and then just wait for your PC to uh, to render all of the keyframes and then after that we will continue when we have it uh, populated right so once we've got all of the keyframes applied we do just want to kind of slightly reposition the clip uh, just to ensure that we reduce these black bars that see appearing on the top and the bottom uh, of the composition here uh, so we'll just add a slight zoom to that and then uh, what we can also do is we can head over to the effects tab uh, and we can grab uh, an effect called motion tile and essentially what this will do is it will expand the kind of composition itself um, so head to output width I usually put that around 300 to the same output height and then make sure you're checking this mirror edges as well this will just give us some smooth edges and look you can see there's a where there would be black bars there is now kind of a duplicated part of the clip um, but it's not really too noticeable and it just does make it a little bit easier it means you don't have to be as, uh, as zoomed in on that but essentially that's it for yourself there you've got that all there my PC's slow as hell so I can't give you guys a proper preview but that is essentially done for yourself there once you've done that just obviously export that throw that into Topaz do whatever you need to do after that um, but essentially that is face tracking in a nutshell again pretty easy effect after effects does it all for you so what am i saying it's uh, the easiest thing to probably do but there will be more tutorials coming in the future there's a pay hip in the link in the description i mean if you guys are even at the end of this video which you're probably not but there are shakes and a couple other nice effects that are there that you might want to use just to get some uh, some edge on your after effects edits um, but anyway without further ado i hope you guys have a great rest of your day evening whatever and subscribe as always take care bandman out